Hi, everybody. Jenny here. Hi, Today we have Dr. Zhu from Taiwan and Taras from Ukraine. And Justin is will join us later. He's working on a boat right now. So he said he'll join us by cell phone later. How's everybody? Very good. Good. Thank you. How are you, Jenny? I'm okay. It's kind of rainy and wet and cold. All of us. It, it was hot and then all of a sudden it got cold again. It's very strange for her. What happened to Seattle? I mean, Hector here is everywhere. Oh, I know. There's all these strange things going on here, but I'm not into politics, so I don't really follow. It drains my energy, Dr. Zhu. It drains mm -hmm. my energy. <laughs> but anyway, it's, I don't know. Seattle's um, rebelling against the institutions. What are your thoughts, Dr. Zhu? How, how is it in Taiwan? Taiwan is very good. For two weeks, so we don't have any new case. Terrific. Not, not two weeks, two months. Oh, two months? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's terrific. That's terrific. Yeah. Yeah. But you said something about Beijing. What happened to Beijing? Beijing have a new case. Mm -hmm. So they block Beijing now. Beijing have about 36 new cases. I see. And they say it's more dangerous than than Wuhan virus, right? Oh, it's a different virus? Yeah, it's a deeper, different uh, kind of uh, COVID-19. Uh, oh. So uh, scientists say it's uh, more dangerous than Wuhan. Oh, well, how frightening. Yeah. How are you, Taras? We have 600. 66 cases in Ukraine. <laughs> six, <laughs> six, six. <laughs> Easy number to today, today, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's very, very interesting number. Yeah, six, six, six. And for the first time, it's uh, three, three same uh, uh, digits. Yeah, six, six, six. Yeah. So, and Dr. Sue, uh, you mentioned about your uh, logo of your drink and you sent me by email. I yeah. can share the screen now and you, uh, we will show uh, all people who watched us before and for, uh, everybody, for everybody in the future. Just, uh, I think it will be interesting to see it, okay? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, just a second, I will share my screen. Oh, uh, Jenny, would you please open me the option to... Yeah, sorry. Okay, it's okay. It, it should be okay now. Yes. Okay, I open. Do you see? Yes. Dr. Su, would you please <clears throat> comment? It's two... Uh, the versions of a new logo, right? On the, on the lower version, on, on the on the dragon side, uh, the Chinese, Chinese say "le he he," ha ha. <laughs> and uh, yeah. the, the, the reason for this one is that it's reverse of Coca Cola. Yeah, if you read it, it's a Coca Cola. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh. Very interesting. So we we try to uh, we say okay now now we're going to overthrow the Coca Cola. What so kind we, of business is this? Drink my drink. Oh, it's a drink. Yeah. It's oh. it's kombucha KBC. The previous logo oh, was KBC. That's the KBC logo. Sorry, I'm not getting it at all. Oh. The, 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 with different item, you know, yeah. this one would be more like a drink, you know, with with uh, with soda, you know, ah. carbonate, you know, a little it's bit carbonated. Like, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. How do you pronounce and this? How, however, unfortunately, the name is occupied. Oh mm -hmm. really? Somebody already so, registered it. 
Yeah, so we have the, but, but, they are, but their design is real bad, but uh, you can use a word now. So we are thinking about uh, go after them, you know, buy, the, buy from them. Wow. How do you pronounce this again? Le, he, he. Le, he, he. I see. You didn't read reverse in Coca Cola. Oh, interesting. So the guy, happy, ha, ha. You know. <laughs> <laughs> The and I, I just I loaded, I loaded logo Coca Cola just to uh, compare that it is different, and I uh, loaded Amazon that you you see this line is like a hint, a little bit hint for uh, Amazon, I suppose. Yes, yes, that I line. I kind of smi smi smiling face, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Actually, the ha ha. Other one also. I. Other one also occupied. So both are occupied. What's mm. this image too? Hmm. What's this image too? Is the first one? Is the second one? The mid. The middle one is uh, occupied. This one. The middle one. What do you mean? Is it image two? Yeah. Image two is, what is that? Uh, do you mean this, this one? Is supposed to be for Kambucha. The, the reason that, you know, reason mean that, you know, the entire, I mean, the probiotic in me drink. Oh, it, it means yeah. probiotic drink. I know the middle um, character means life. And the uh, yeah, that's right. Drink. Yeah. What's the first character? E. Enrich. Enrich. Oh. Yeah. Enriched live drink. Yeah. I see. And that's kombucha. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, yeah. Both are occupied. <coughs> I see. I see. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and Dr. Su, if we have a uh, uh, logo in the beginning, do you mind if we see some new uh, redesign of uh, world famous logo? Okay, just several, just quick yeah. view. Okay. Okay. Just, uh, just a second, I will open. Do you see my uh, browser here? No. No? Okay, I will stop the demonstration and renew it because uh, yeah. sometimes it's... If you go up to your desktop desktop screen... Yeah. Do you see now? Yes. Handsome, yeah. handsome group. Yes. Uh, before on the tiger side, yeah. after on the dragon side. This is uh, the pioneer in American human certified organic uh, pasture raised eggs I see. established in 2007 I see. so the, the previous logo and previous one is the red one is the red one hmm? yes red, red yes. one is the previous one okay. yes 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 so the previous is the red one, and the current one is the green one. Oh, it's green one. I look to me, it's the kind of the red one. I mean, the black one is green, huh? It's green. Oh. Well, on my screen, it's green. Yeah, okay. the same green on my screen. Mm -hmm. My screen is uh, a red one. Yeah. Oh, Justin joined us, but he's not on video. Hi, Justin. Yeah, I'm, I'm here, guys. I'm working on a, I'm painting an engine room. It's a big, big boat engine room. So there's a lot of machine noise. I, I'm covered all the paint, but I, I'll keep listening. I like what you're talking about. Okay, okay. So Dr. Zhu, give us your thoughts on the before and then on the after, please. 
I think that the both actually are okay, are good, but that but you talk about the uh, plants and why you use the red color and all, and so is is it better than the than the than the green color than red color? This is my first thought. So the green is better than the red. Yeah, and second thought is that you know uh, the 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 handsome the broke uh, the farms the it very heavy on the top is not that heavy. Remember that you know the far away Huawei design is is very good, right? So they have like eight pieces you now and the very good, but you now but it's okay. But uh, somehow the top is weak. You know, the, the plant growing is not as as strong. The name is very strong. So you're talking about the green one? Yeah. So you're talking about this arch above the handsome is a little bit weak? Yeah. On the top, on the top part is a little bit weak. And this, bottom, the, the graphic is a little part. bit weak? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. What do you think? Yeah. I think um, I like the second one because the the name looks very stable. The first one that you see the handsome is a little bit of an arch. Doesn't look as stable. This one looks very stable. I think the lettering feels very solid and grounded. Um, and I think the uh, graphic looks like a sun to me. So I, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> That's yeah, like a sun, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's okay, it's good, yeah. Somehow I, I, I still find the name is a little bit strong. Maybe oh. the name should, don't have to be bold. I see, the handsome doesn't have to be bold, you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's the same, um, yeah. Exact same thickness as the yeah. Brook Farms, yeah. it would have been better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Great. Great. Thank you. I had a yeah. question though, one other thing. You see, this is Handsome Brook Farms, but I think the real name is Handsome Brook. Is one uh, name. The real I name, I will see. You know, the real name, Handsome Brook Farms. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So it's a full name. Yeah, it's a long name, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. By the way, it was just farm in the beginning, you see, without S. Oh, I see. Because they started from only one farm and then they grew up and many farms appeared. I see. I see. Yeah. 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 And uh, just a second, uh, the GoDaddy, another, it's uh, the company established in 1997. It is a domain registrar and web hosting company. Yes. GoDaddy. GoDaddy. The, the old one here, a new one, black here Wait, can you share your screen do you see no can you share your ah, screen? you don't ah i'm sorry i will i will open i will share now just just a second do uh, can can you see or no no no, no? it disappeared from my oh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. Mm -hmm. uh, green is old one, and uh, black is new one. I see. It was changed in January mm -hmm. fifteen this year. January this year. Yes. They redesigned. But the company exists for, since 1997. I see. 
What the company do? Uh, web web hosting company. Uh, and domain registrar. Yeah, their main thing is uh, domain name registration. Yes, they do. I, I, I knew people in Ukraine, they also use uh, this company. Yeah, in America, it's very, very popular. Yeah, the, the headquarters, I suppose it's in, in the United States, right? Yes, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I use yeah. the GoDaddy. You use GoDaddy too? Yeah. Actually, I, I like the first one. I like the old one. Yeah. The, the new one, I don't know what they mean. <laughs> so I, yeah, it's like... It's an apple, it's not what? It's a G and an O. That makes a heart. Yeah. You see it? But the G yeah, is slanted and the O is slanted. Yeah, it looks like somebody eats the egg. Um, I just don't feel a connection. Yeah. To daddy, you know? I think the first one is good. Yeah. Then... Yeah. I think and that Dr. the logo can, looks can... a little bit uh, forced. Dr. Su, can we uh, make some prediction uh, while observing uh, such logo? And to which extension? How, how it influences the business? I think that the business will going down. We're going slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why do you say that? This 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 information I pick up. Oh, I see. I only get 40, 45 points. I see. Well, from a visual perspective, the the green has a thicker font. It just feels a lot more stronger than the newer logo. I can see. You see the G on the new logo. Is it? Oh, same with the old one. The arrow. Yeah, I think that arrow. was enough. You know, that arrow. was enough. It's an arrow. Yes, and here is the same. Arrow. Yeah. So I don't know why they needed the new part. I don't know its significance, I guess. Yeah. Uh, per perhaps they needed some small icon like Favicon favorite icon for some maybe applications or something like that or some, some smartphones or for browsers maybe it was the reason yeah i understand yeah yeah because uh, for instance for the company for panasonic uh, they use just the uh, letter p oh. for their uh, browser or for some shortcuts or for some icons mm. They don't some don't have some special signature or sign, just P of the first first letter of the logo Panasonic. Mm. Yeah. If I was okay. them, I would have just used the G and a D, you know, go daddy. And also the G is kind of slanted and not straight. Yeah, so their their G is quite nice, the one with the arrow. Mm -hmm. You know that? To me, that even just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be good. Yeah. yeah, good enough. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, I think yeah. so. The GO is quite nice. Right. And may may I show you the next one? Do yes. you see? Yes, Do we can see? see. We can see. DTS established in 1993. It, Originally, digital theater systems, American co company that makes multi-channel audio technologies for film and video from California. So the old one here on the tiger side and the new one. It appeared recently in June 11. They just created it five days ago, established. 
a new logo. I think new new logo look fine because the old logo, you know, that 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 design, the circle design and writing, they're not connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look disconnected. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Now the colors and the letters are connected. Yeah, merged. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah yeah okay and uh, we have the last logo i suppose f from my side it was approved in november last year the company kroger was established in 1883 in cincinnati and the headquarter is still there uh, it's one of the largest grocery store retail in the United States yeah. yes locally in Seattle Kroger is very big very mm -hmm. very big a lot of our supermarkets have a different name but they're part of the Gro Kroger family so a lot of the canned goods and stuff have Kroger on it they make their own um, their own foods as well mm -hmm. because they have so many supermarkets they can provide you know like beans and corn and tomatoes you know there's a Kroger brand they call it yeah yeah very big very very big I think that the, the older one is very good but the new one they are not together and some for some reason mm-hmm it, it give um to me it give like uh the energy is going downward because you go from the k which is um uh, taller and then you go down to the g and in in my opinion it gives me that feeling like a uh, downward energy mm. i think you yeah i i kind of feel the old one the circle around it just pulls it together yeah i is focused but the new one, your eye goes kind of everywhere. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But in new one, you see the face. You see two eyes and the smile. Oh, I see. I didn't see that. <laughs> it's more obvious than in the old one. Maybe, maybe it was the, one of the reasons. Oh, I also have a face too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not as noticeable is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's more, just in new one, it's much more noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, in all, the old one is more focused, in, is more uh, concentrated. Yes. Yeah. More energized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I don't know why they need fresh for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, fresh I don't know what that supposed to signify. Yeah. Because it's for everyone anyway. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I don't understand it. Yeah. Maybe they have explanation just I don't know. Just fresh yeah, for no. everyone doesn't. doesn't yeah, not fresh. Just yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank. Thank you very much for okay. this logo section of our Zoom, and uh, we can continue. Maybe uh, Jenny, you have questions or Justin. Justin, I know Justin wanted to ask you because he's working on a boat. Justin, do you have questions? Maybe he cannot hear me. Hello. Yeah. You said my name? Yes, I said, oh, you were having, remember on our chat, you said you had questions for Dr. Zhu about the feng shui on being a boat or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, can you hear me well? 
Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that I know that uh, well, obviously, uh, in feng shui form is very important. And boats, um, depending on the boat, the bedroom shapes change. Like for example, in a sailboat, the bedrooms and also in catamarans, the bedrooms are in triangle shape. And in uh, bigger yachts, uh, you might have a square bedroom, but it's very, very tiny. Uh, you might have storage over your head or um, you're, you are facing next to the door. You know, it's very, very small space. So, and also how, so one question is like how you can improve the feng shui on boats or is living in a boat good? or bad or not convenient because you know you're in the water uh, mm -hmm. you might not have the mountain presence if you're in a marina or anchor in the water so you know I, I, I was curious in general like how the feng shui of boats out I mean how you manage to get good feng shui in a boat when you're in such limited space or it's not living in a boat good. You know, if I want to move to my sailboat, like it's it's not good living in a sailboat because it's not square. I don't know. Those are my questions. I, I it's a uh, kind of general, but wanted to know uh, your feedback on that topic. I I cannot show you pictures because. I'm not in my computer, but eventually I will put different the, examples. The, the boat house is, is different than the house. In Seattle, there's a lot of boat house. And the the boat house energy is just different than house energy. I have a friend in a boat house in the Seattle area. Of course, the boat is different too, right? Boat is frozen. So, you know, the, in a sense that, you know, uh, the boat house is just not as stable as a house, regardless of a feng shui, the issue. Okay. But you're talking, you're talking, Dr. Zhu, about a boat house. Justin's talking about just a boat. Yes, I talk about boat house. Just talk about both. Both is worse than a house. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So it, 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 it don't you don't live there, no, you play there, right? Some people live there. Yeah, some people do. I have a, a friend, they sold their house and they've been living two years in their catamaran. He has uh, four bedrooms with queen bed. Yes, and uh, you pick house, uh, uh, you, you pick boat, you have, you could have many houses. But still, you know, the boat is a boat. You know, it is for floating. It's different energy. No, it's like a nomad uh, style of living. Like you stay here, then there, you, you change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's just different lifestyle, that's all. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like if you live in a boat, you will be uh, or less healthy or more prosperous or less prosperous. Just different feeling. Different energy, he said. Yeah, it's different energy. Just, just like you go, to the, you go to the hotel. You know, five-star hotel and the two-star hotel are different too, right? I see. Well, it depends on boat, you know, how big the boat is, you know, how, how luxury the boat is. It's still floating there, you know, different lifestyle, that's all. I remember se several years ago, we, uh, you, we constructed a small boat with empty bottles, empty plastic bottles. We constructed the platform, we, we used these bottles, several layers, and then put uh, the, uh, the wood on it and the carpet. 
uh -huh. and it was floating platform. We floated on the Dnieper River, and there were some concerts, music on it, live music, and some theater, and just uh, use some some poems and other stuff. It was like culture culture event in Kiev. Very nice. And sometimes people used to sleep there. Very nice. Very nice. So the energy of a boat will vary, I think, upon what kind of water you're on. <laughs> you know, okay. like, it, um, that's my opinion. If you're on the canals in England, you know, they don't, they're not, they're very calm. And you use what they call a punt, you know, big stick and they push. It's very calm. It's very, you know, peaceful. So yeah. it's a different kind of water, you know. If I you're see. in rough seas, that's different energy, right? So I think it, 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 you're influenced as, you know, we always okay. say by your environment. So it's not only the boat, it's where your boat is located. I understand. Yeah. So to apply feng shui to a boat, it's not just about the form of the boat, but also um, where you are located in relation to the other boats and and the the land and the quality of water. Doctor Zhu. What? <laughs> Did you hear his question? <laughs> <laughs> The voice of Justin is like meditative voice, you know, like deep meditation. <laughs> oh my God, guys! I I'm trying to listen, but also at the same time I'm painting. The painting is getting dry on my hands. I'm trying to get the phone here. It's a uh, it's, it's it's a little hard. So just keep talking, and I I gotta uh, change this. Okay. Okay, Justin. Thank okay. you for participating. Thank you, Justin. Yeah, thank you. Work hard, keep painting. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Dr. Sil, I have uh, the question from some people uh, about spirituality, uh, especially when uh, hard uh, times come, especially when some epidemic, pandemic, or some uh, political, economical issues, problems happen in the world, people start interested more and more in uh, spirituality in esoteric sciences in the religion and other uh, knowledge so would you please uh, uh, tell us about your understanding of spirituality what is spirituality I go back to read my book <laughs> 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 I think I think I think for now for this uh, the coronavirus that what we need is a patient. We need we we uh, we need to be very patient, and American don't have the patient. But you know, patience patience is very difficult for uh, any time for any people. We when we read the his, history in books, we read that. Uh, the least people had it was passion patience because of pa absence of patience there were wars in west and east there were many troubles because people uh, were not patient so what should we practice or what are your recommendations to become more patient in the united states in ukraine in other parts of the world i think that we use the word the called <laughs> Acceptance, the divine of the acceptance, you know, accept the whatever situation it is, accept. Acceptance is a very important word. And we cannot, something not normal. See, we get used to a certain style of living, and if things change, then it's not normal anymore, you know. But, you know, normal, the, you know, I mean, with change, is uh, it's always happen, right? So whatever change is happening, you have to accept. Now that's change. 
but uh, are there some secret of remembering of this acceptance because when some trouble happens people forget about acceptance they try to solve the problem and then then they uh, uh, remember uh, remind about the acceptance after uh, something bad happened after they made mistake <laughs> so how to remember the acceptance <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have some uh, special practice, you know, I, I, I don't know, maybe you have some secret. No, there's no secret there. <laughs> <laughs> Except and, and patience, you know. Acceptance doesn't mean that, you know, you accept the way forever. You know, things are going to change. And we say that you only allow the train to come to the station, then you can move to the next station. If you do not allow the train to arrive the, uh, enter the first station, you cannot go to the second station, right? Yes, have but to go when, through the process. Is yeah. that what you're saying? But yeah. uh, if if we observe uh, the uh, pandemic pandemic issue, for instance, about acceptance, uh, if uh, we in Wuhan people found out the virus and the first way okay let's start uh, uh, do research to explore the virus and to do something they were active but the second way just accept accept it let it be natural let's observe don't worry be happy and just observe how it goes on we just accept the virus let it be so how to uh, select, how to understand where is acceptance, where is not acceptance, where to be active and where not to be active. For instance, with this COVID-19. Because if we accept, okay, it's COVID-19. We don't research it. We, we don't produce masks. We don't wear masks because we accept it happened. It's already happened. It appeared in the planet. It appeared in the world. So we accept this fact and just live our life. The acceptance, acceptance means dynamic acceptance, not static acceptance. Acceptance means that something coming here, we accept that, but we're going to change it. We will handle it. Right? But in the meantime, you don't want to you know, the blow over you know, the, 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 the angry over something there. You know, something happened. You take care of it, right? So, so well, it's, also, it's not static stuff. I also think, um, of course, we cannot predict, you know, something like this happening, right? So the best way for us to handle it, because now it did happen, is that we have to learn to uh, take more responsibility for our own health. You know, we got to exercise, we got to watch what we eat, bring our immunity up, you know. We just can't be waiting for the virus to hit us. Oh, well, too bad. You know, what yeah, we yeah. can do proactively is, okay, let's get healthy. Let's, you know, exercise. Let's, you know, watch our diet. Let's wipe everything down. I mean, there's preventive me methods and we have to take action. We can't just sit and wait for it to happen to us. That's what I think. See, I thought I would, I would be in China in the, in the, in the, in the May, and then now they in June. Now, now, now it's June now. It will be in August or something there now. Uh, that it's, it's something we cannot control. Something we cannot control, then now we accept the way it is, you know. Maybe in June, maybe in July or of August, right? And uh, by the way, about uh, the control of the situation, the control is related to uh, patience and to acceptance. For instance, about revolutions and wars. Revolution in uh, in Europe, revolutions in other parts of the world. One people, some people say, uh, you should accept the situation. We don't need revolutions because revolutions is blood, 
is the death of people and uh, other people the second part uh, they say we shouldn't accept it we should change everything depends on us so there are uh, in all times in modern times in past times there were two parties uh, of uh, society one party say just accept no changes no revolutions the other part say we need revolution uh, we are responsible for our life and for the future of society what do you think yeah, we're talking about acceptance I mean except things has changed things already changed we accept that you know we cannot you know we cannot endure anymore then we had to make change right in 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 the in the process of changing people suffer too then then you uh, again you, uh, you have to accept that yeah 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 acceptance does not mean endure uh, forever yeah but when the time come momentum come that you know it will happen but that you might not change forever yeah but the, but no you, you when the process of changing just like happened in the united states you now for the black right yeah. i mean there are there are more than hundred thousand people die for the coronavirus and people not react as much and only one black die you know people re, re, they reflect you know as much and um, much more you know funny yeah. Yeah, it's not, this is cumulative stuff. Yes. That one person is represented years mm -hmm. and years and years yeah. of their emotion. Uh, yeah. 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 I think it just exploded. You know? Yeah. I also say that there are people that uh, my, try to give my opinion. They say that feng shui is uh, geology, is archaeology, is all this stuff, scientific stuff. Right? They try to make it make a feng shui more science, you know, than the, you know, than the, what feng shui is there. My answer that you know, it's true. I mean, the academic area and they try to make it academic, make it make it, make it, make it a science. Uh, my answer is that in the feng shui, don't talk about the chi. Just like in Buddhism, talk about heart. <laughs> it is true that you know we talk. You have all this archaeology, whatever there is, the geology, whatever there is. But again, the the bottom line is still you know what chi is, and people in academic area don't know what chi is. This is why they try to avoid that. Yeah. Avoid the kind of stuff, and then other school, then they they make chi very abstract, you know, you know, based on your birthday, you know, this and that, you know. So this way people can accept that, yeah. So, but on the other hand, in form school, people you know, really don't know what the chi about, yeah. That's a that's a big issue there. Mm. Yeah, and Doctor Su, can we? Uh, uh, say that feng shui actually it it's not only the way to organize the space but it's all it also includes qigong tai chi uh, chinese medicine and other traditional chinese culture like uh, tea uh, like painting calligraphy and other because if we touch some part of our life we start talking about other things, not about just architecture or design, interior design. So we can call feng shui in uh, uh, like in wide uh, sense. It's like everything we can talk about. Then, then, you, then you, then we tend to load the lose the focus of what feng shui is, but in in narrative and speaking. The first is about the, our living environment, the environmental design. But in very broad meaning, feng shui is a, we say kai yi, right? Kai mean uh, the Tao of heaven, yi mean Tao of earth. Then we as human beings, how do we live between 
heaven and earth. That's a very big picture of what the what the is. You talk about a million, million, yeah. And what is important uh, in modern times to develop uh, this narrow meaning of feng shui or more broad uh, understanding of feng shui? I think even narrow, narrow, narrow meaning is still not accepted. You know, people, people think of well, lots of superstitious stuff, you know, uh, divination or other stuff. Now. Then they all bump, bump into, into feng shui, like the each in, you know. Or bundle into in the feng shui. Uh, they don't know what the so so we might just say that you know, the environmental design, you know. Uh. But uh, okay. Doctor Su, what what is what is the reason? If uh, 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 if uh, there is some very good knowledge, very useful knowledge, why people uh, don't don't follow it or forget it or change it? Why they forgot uh, uh, from school feng shui and started to do some superstitions? What was the it's reason? Historically, you know, for the past hundred years, the China had been pretty low, you know, down and down and down. This is why they don't believe their stuff. They believe the 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 ship, the, the fire rocket, and all this weaponry stuff. And they try to westernize and they throw away all the Chinese stuff. Mm -hmm. Issue there. And when, you, when your country is strong, the culture is strong. When country is weak, the culture is weak. Just like a painting, you know? And all the expensive painting, you know? Not in Africa, not in South America. They exist in the strong country, in the European, you know, last century, and now American, you now, because they reflect you now the, the 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 energy of the country. By the way, uh, old uh, and uh, old uh, traditional teapots of China and other traditional art is also. Uh, appreciated on the world. For instance, on Christmas and Sotheby's, uh, many Chinese artifacts are being sold on for many, for high prices. Yeah, but it's, a, it's a, the Chinese view. The Chinese lose the confidence. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Acupuncture became popular because it uh, popular in the United States. Mm -hmm. United States it's good stuff. Then Chinese talk about acupuncture. The same thing. And pretty soon the Chinese will talk about the herbal medicine. You know, when the country is strong, then the, you know the, the culture is strong. Mm -hmm. But uh, Japanese cal uh, Jap Japan is one of the biggest and strongest countries. Of, from economical and political point of view, but uh, uh, what about Japanese traditional culture? It's not so strong as in the past. J for instance, tea ceremony, traditional Japanese tea ceremony, it, it declines and Japanese masters, old masters of tea, they uh -huh. say that no Japanese followers, they started to look for the first time in the history of Japan, they started to look for uh, tea ceremony followers on the West, in Europe. For instance, in Ukraine, there are several people who started to follow uh, Jap Jap old Japanese master of tea ceremony. Yes, actually, um, in Seattle and in Hawaii, tea ceremony is extremely popular because people in America are looking for that kind of discipline ah, and that kind of meditative discipline. Mm -hmm. We don't have that in America. So that becomes very attractive for some people. Um, in Japan, I think, you know, sometimes when you live in your own country, you don't appreciate it. 
So a lot of the, my, I do tea, I haven't done, I took a break from tea ceremony. I did tea ceremony for about six years. And many of the women in my tea ceremony group, they're Japanese, married to American or married, you know, and live in America. And when they said, once they leave Japan, they realize, oh, we had something good. But they never recognized it until they left. And they are searching again for that culture within their life. And the foreign people that join are looking for that meditative, quiet, uh, kind of yin kind of energy, you know, because in America, everything's so extravagant, big, loud, you know, so I understand uh, why it becomes popular overseas. In Japan, I think Japan is going through a very, very difficult situation right now. Their economy is not good. The population is shrinking uh, and they, they've had to learn to adapt. They have to open their borders. They're letting people in. Before, there was very closed culture. Nobody could get in. You cannot stay in Japan. You know, they kick everybody out. But now they're changing because they have to change. It doesn't work anymore. So they are suffering. That's true for, for a while in, for Chinese stuff. But when they go to, all, go to other countries, they start to rediscover Chinese stuff, you know? And start Yi Qin and Lao Tzu and other stuff. They don't study that when they were in China. Yeah. Yeah. Very but I think, you know, in um, because of the history in these old cultures, people are finding value in that old traditional wisdom because we don't have that anymore. Mm hmm. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Sil, do you think the traditional culture of different regions uh, could be useful now? Or we should follow some new ways because of uh, Indian uh, uh, law, we should uh, find some new, not, fall, not look uh, backward, but look forward. But if you look forward, we should find something new and follow some new ways, some new methods. What do you think? How to apply Inyan for this? We still guide by Bible. We still guide by I Ching. We still yeah. guide by the Hindu, the, 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 the stuff. Regardless of what, all the technology comes, we still, the, our wisdom don't change, don't improve that much. We still guide by old stuff and re rediscover, you know, now Chinese rediscover, you know, I Ching, Lao Tzu, Zhongzi, and other stuff. Is it, is it, uh, is it profitable for uh, people? I mean, from a uh, spiritual point of view, is it good for people or it's like no freedom? It's like in cage, in uh, just in the frame, from of the old uh, religion of old knowledge that uh, don't let people to go away and to be free of any any kind of religion or it's think, not possible i think the wisdom is not the the uh, i think that in all the, all wisdom it's not a cage though now it's not you think it's a cage, you know. The wisdom, the it's not a cage. This is why people are looking for answers to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Because because I met it in some in some books that some modern books they write that all old knowledge is nonsense and we should start from the empty uh, page you know just create new sound something new free from free of <laughs> old, <laughs> old wisdom and stuff <laughs> yeah. well the obvious they, they they are not you know they really don't understand what all stuff is yeah yeah they excuse you no know. The, the, old, the old stuff is the record of thousands of years of experience, isn't it? 
that's why it's so valuable you know yeah but when we live such a short life <laughs> what when we see the history of science uh, they new uh, wave of scientists they absorb everything that was accumulated before but then they create new knowledge mm -hmm. but what about spiritual science about re religions they just you know they don't create something new like science they just step on, on one place <laughs> like on one point just discussing the same the same sentences the same books and they don't absorb and move forward i i mean some people say some modern people say their point of view on this situation in the world science is today's truth not tomorrow's truth mm. it always be always strong That's a good one. Today's truth, not tomorrow's truth. Because, yeah, they, you know, this is good for you. And the next time they say, oh, no, this is bad for you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's so true. That's so yeah, true. It's, it's very, it's so deep thought you just uh, told us, Dr. Seal, just to, to, science is uh, today it's truth, not true. tomorrow. It's, it's very, tomorrow. very deep. That's a great way to end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Science is today's truth, not tomorrow's truth. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Very okay. Nice. Thank you, Dr. Zhu. Yeah. Great way to end. Bye. Take care Thank now. And we'll talk to you again. Bye, Taras. Bye bye. Everybody take care. Bye, bye. Thank you, everybody. Till next Thank time. You. Bye.